Are you ready to homeschool? You gonna homeschool in your pajamas? <laughs> Let me get this straight. You want me to teach you and cook for you? It's a lot of requests. Wait, no, you don't have to make it. Dad has to make it. Oh yeah, Dad's our chef, remember? What's up, fam? Good morning. Welcome to day one of homeschooling my five kids. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready, though? Yeah! The kids decided that day one of homeschool means PJ day. Pajama day, most of them anyway. Some of them are wearing um, costumes. But, you know, that's the beauty of being the CEO of Just Fam Academy is I get to choose what is appropriate school wear. This also could not be a better day to start homeschool because KiwiCo is sponsoring this video. I'll talk more about them in just a second. My name is Mrs. Mom and I will be your guys' teacher for the next an undeclared amount of time. We're not really sure. There's talks about not going back to school for the rest of the school year, so we'll see. The principal slash yard duty slash chef for the or cafeteria man is upstairs taking a shower. He's a little bit late to work today, so I'm gonna punish him later for that. Yeah, the baby substitutes sometimes when Mimi's not available. Oh yeah. We also have the director of curriculum and instruction herself, and probably the main teacher because I don't know what I'm doing. Lead so. It's called lead teacher. Lead teacher. I'll be the. I'll be the head of your department. Perfect. And the director of the instruction. Okay. I'll be your great. assistant principal because I have lots of tools for emotional and um, social support. We're prepped for this. Yeah. We're now accepting students with a tuition of 1000 per chat. I'm just kidding. I don't want any other kids. This is what we're dealing with this morning. This is what they sent us home with. I've got Lilia's pile, Kaden, Kyson, Mark, Kaden, Landon, and Landon. Okay, so this is what we have here. Addie being three years old, we're just gonna do the curriculum ourselves. She's not an independent study. To start off our lesson, we're gonna be doing our KiwiCo activity. I need to go through these and see what the heck I'm doing because I have hardly even looked at them yet. KiwiCo, by the way, for quarantine for the next few months, do yourself a favor, do your kids a favor, and subscribe to KiwiCo. KiwiCo creates hands-on projects. Mommy, yes. Whenever I feel stupid on the floor, it's light up. Whoa. It's, light up. it's like Christmas this morning. It offers flexible subscription boxes with different steam-related projects. And they start at as low as $16.95 a month. And it is free shipping to all of the US. In addition to their subscription boxes, they also have single projects that you can do for all ages. They have all of that listed online for different ages and different price points. So really they have something for everybody. What I really, 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 really like about them is that it comes with absolutely everything that you need in it. You do not need anything more than what is in this box. So you're not buying, whoa, she's so excited. You're not buying like an endless supply of like random stuff that you don't need. Everything that you need for it comes in here. And these are STEAM related projects, which is science, technology, engineering, art, and math. They have eight different crates for different age groups. So they have one basically for every age child. We love it and we are going to especially love it right now because we are homeschooling. Yeah, we're homeschooling for the next Month. At least a month. Addie has the koala crate. The koala crate is designed from ages two to four. The kiwi crate, which Mr. Landon has, is between ages of five and eight. The atlas crate, the twins each got one of these ones. This one is for between the ages of six and 11. Miss Lilia has the tinker crate, which is for ages nine to 13. I'll have more information about each of them so you guys can pick exactly what you're looking for. I'll have a link down in the description. Genuinely love this, you guys. This is not like, I mean, clearly, look at this. Like they're obviously a sponsor to my channel, but my kids really do love them and I really, really, really love the brand. So if you want to try it, please use my link that I have down in my description. And they're also offering you guys a first month free. You can try the first month for free, which is like a $19.95 value. Or you can just head over to kiwico.com slash jessfam and you can get your first month for free. So I think the principal is gonna take charge of this project right here so we can figure out what we're doing for the rest of the day. Fire camping. It's different. I built this. 
You did, that's true. You get to build that. How no, else no, is this no. different from a real campfire? Um, it's not fire. Exactly, not hot fire, huh? It's not it actually fire. Hot. Mom, after ah, Look at. Oh my god! <laughs> Mom, do you see this? This is so cool. It's literally a robot. That is the coolest thing, Eric. We are done with our science lesson. We're moving on to lunch right now. We started looking over um, what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. This is the first time we've, we've even looked at the packets at all. So they're gonna eat, have a recess, and then we'll be moving on to our next lesson. Ooh, owning it, owning it, owning it. Ask me how I feel after day five. We decided that we were gonna sit down at the beginning of the week and plan out what lunch is gonna be every single day. I just feel like that'll be easier. Um, but we haven't had a chance to do it yet. So I was just like, fix well, we it, do something. Chicken, we have chicken strips. We have orange chicken, we have carrots, strawberries, bananas, apples, fries, and water. Good job, high five. Look how teamwork. Look how Not at this school. Not at this school, you don't. We're low budget, bro. <laughs> We're low budget. Recess time. You guys get like 20 minutes of recess, and then we're gonna come inside and read, and then we're gonna start math. 20 minutes. This is not, this is like a rough run of how things are gonna go. I think normally we're gonna do math like first thing in the morning. But we're still trying to figure out what we're doing. It's so hard because we have four different grade levels with Addie. We've got Addie, Landon, twins, Lilia. It's so complicated. Thank goodness to my little assistant right here. She knows how to work. They have all these like school apps and stuff that they use at school and I have no idea how to use them. And she, oh, saving the day, saving the day. And she knows how to use a lot of them too because she's a teacher. But they have some different ones on here. So she's helping. We have the twins silently reading over here by themselves because we are still trying to figure out which lessons to do with which kids. So we have two reading and they're in the same grade. So we put them two on pause. They're doing some silent reading. Well, we figure out the other two lesson plans and then we're gonna switch. Today. We definitely didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but we also got a late start and we're just trying to figure things out. It's so confusing because like some of the teachers set home more things than other teachers and some teachers weren't really clear about what we should do every day and some teachers said that we shouldn't start until a week from now because technically their spring break is this next week so they're saying, oh, don't start until the following Monday. But I don't want to do that. I want to get them in a schedule at first and then we can like take a break after we're all in a schedule. So yeah, I don't know. It's rough here, guys. It's rough. I feel like it'd be a lot easier if A, everyone was on the same page, which nobody really is. Um, and it's nobody's fault. Nobody's like against each other. It's just all the teachers were just scrambling to get stuff together and they all did the best that they can. And so I'm trying to dissect that information and figure out what we're supposed to be doing at what time. And it's hard. So I think it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. But we got, a, we got a lot done. For the first day, you know, I had to give myself a pat on the back as well as my awesome assistance up there. So we are picking up our workstation, trying to figure out how we're gonna organize each of their papers. The kids are playing a board game in here, or a card game, I think. They're gonna play color pop. Color brain. color brain, color brain. I can't eat Some kind of thing in there. And then I think we're all gonna do like 
PE a little bit. We're gonna go on a bike ride or something. I also have a bunch of tax things that I need to do. Chris is printing all of my bank statements for the last year because I have to go do tax stuff. So I have to do some highlighting and oh, do some labeling on this. When you're a YouTube vlogger, you're like self-employed and taxes are so messy. They're so messy. PE time, getting out of the house. Of course, six feet away from everybody around us because social distancing, but still getting some vitamin D because we need it. Me and Lily learned this dance really quick. Are you ready? Five, six, seven, eight. We just got back from our walk and it was great timing because right we walked in on the news it's blasted California governor issues statewide mandatory lockdown until further notice so we're already you know basically there not too much changes for us because we're quarantining ourselves anyway but I wonder how long this is gonna last I'm so happy I have you guys like it must be very very sad for people who don't have people you know what I mean like if they just live alone I don't know I'm very very grateful that in this very Devastating time. I at least have my babies and you know, it's and my mom lives with me right now a loving husband Like I'm just super grateful that I'm quarantined with the people I'm quarantined with I mean look at the bright side, right? But apparently we are the first state in the United States to do this and I'm curious how this is gonna go um, hola. Day two. Day one. Not day two. This is the first day. That's true. <laughs> it felt like two days. That's, That's how long you <laughs> That's our day. This video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and we'll talk to you in our next video. Good night.